Ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn because things got spicy in the world of K-pop. SM Entertainment's co-CEO Lee Sung-soo just dropped a bombshell on Lee Suman, the founder of the company. In a recent YouTube video titled SM Entertainment CEO Lee Sung-soo Statement Presentation Part 1, Lee Sung-soo held nothing back as he spilled the tea on the current state of the company. And boy, did he have some damning allegations against Lee Suman. According to Lee Sung-soo, Lee Suman has been engaging in some pretty shady behavior in order to maintain his grip on the company. He alleged ordered executives and employees to close to him to create fake accounts on social media and leave positive comments to boost his reputation. He even ordered the creation of shareholders response team to find a way for him to come back to the company. But wait, there's more. Lee Sung Soo also revealed that Lee Suman has a contract with SM Entertainment that would pay him for the next 70 years. That's right, 70 years talk about securing the bad. And if you thought that was bad enough, Lee Sung Soo also alleges that Lee Suman made some peculiar changes to the executive board that were done solely at his best. But perhaps the most intriguing part of Lee Sung Soo's video is the question he raises in regard to Lee Soo Man's deal with Hype. What exactly is going on behind the scenes of this highly publicized partnership between SM Entertainment and Hype? Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. But one thing's for sure, the K-pop world just got a whole lot more interesting. So if you're new to this channel, then do hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because this would really makes me motivate to make new videos for you. So if you want to know what happened with Lee's Jong Chi and Kim Tae Young then check out this video right now.